right there. That's page 49. Page 49. Yes, line number one. Line nine. The response by Ms. Kuman, it's 9-9. Nine, nine. It reads as follows, and I quote, And we then, all of us, then stood up. We then pushed them, that is now both the gentlemen, together with the one that was struggling with Kelly for the door, and pushed both of them to the kitchen. Close quotation. No. It is on Okay, we don't find it here. The, the record that I've had <coughs> earlier, earlier on, it's the I same think. record. I am in page number 49. The evidence number of nine. the 18th of July, 2023. This one, it is, this one says the 20th of July, 2023. Since it is not long, maybe uh, it is not long. All right. It, it says, and I quote, I'm reading again, and we then, all of us, stood up. <coughs> we then pushed them, that is now both the gentlemen, together with one that was struggling with Kelly for the door, and pushed both of them to the kitchen. Close quotation. Saba pusha bo tu ganjalo. Maga kulgas na lo na obelwa no keli. Obuya la pana ge em em nyango se kishi. Is that how it happened? Obzile lo kani. I in kavangu tu Mr. Mumalo ogo gwenze guzo funda la we some statement. Then masu guzang is some lessons palo aba ying 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 ting ten guti sna kriga kulangi shuguti nya unga bo edipati. I think, Mr. Gumalo, um, you may ask me a question that is pertinent to my statement. When you get to my statement, you can ask me a question. Not that perhaps I'm trying to be evasive, but um, where others are concerned, I would wish for you um, to emphasize on uh, the content of my statement. Okay, I do, I do understand that, but what I'm inviting you to comment is this what I've just read, how it happened or not? Yeah, but in general, 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 in now, um, how it transpired, that will be found in my statement. I'm not, I'm not uh, saying that you shouldn't be uh, 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 perhaps putting it to me pertaining what uh, to me or rather uh, pertaining what they are saying. Um, that you can do, but I'm saying that if you expect for me to respond, then you should at least ask me about what is uh, written in my statement. That is to me, I think about What they have written, that should be left in the hands of the court. The court will then decide um, what to make of their statements. Um, I'm just saying that we should focus on the statement that I had provided or that I had finished. Lastly, on page 50 of the transcribed record, the response by Ms. Kumano in his, her evidence in chief, it reads as follows, and I quote, I took the crutch and tried to hit the tall one with it, but could not reach. And then Dumedo took the crutch from me, and I was the one who hit the gentleman with the crutch. And I was the one who hit. And was the one oh. who hit the gentleman. As a mother, Utin Shai Lona Omote in the crutch, Kotagamina Bengum Fishani, his statement is Saka Miss Kumaluleso. 
Gatata the crash in getting Shalom Lisa, Ogani, getting Shalom Lisa the crash, got a big fish and minade, um, Shalom Motel. Utumelo, I tata the crash, was a gay Oyam Shayam. Gabuzo, Mr. Niman, uh, in the Tavan Kamutin, I could Melacona, I look good in Nam at the crash. I think um, what I can um, react to is. <laughs> Um, that point that says I also took a crash, that I can react to it. Because I'm kumbuling in party crash in the day kitchen and kumbuling. Because I do not remember um, getting hold of a crash on that day <coughs> in a kitchen. Lastly, I just need clarity on this. You will confirm if, if you can and deny if you did not say it. In your evidence okay. in chief, in your evidence in chief, did I hear you clearly that your evidence was that after you had finished smoking, you were then invited inside the house by Kelly Kuman. Ngenge <laughs> Yes, that I can confirm. Yeah. Right, she though. came and we're standing uh, next to the door and she said that, are you now just about to leave and you haven't even uh, said goodbye inside of the house? And that's when we went in, in, into the house to say our goodbyes. Yes. Then yeah. I confirm. Did you say in your evidence in chief, you will correct me if I'm wrong, that before you, can, or you could enter the house, you had a commotion inside the house. Did you say that? Um, I have never said that. Which evidence are you listening to? <laughs> the, the very same uh, no. evidence. Uh, yes. First time I hear that, even yes, Mr. Baloui also says Baloui. that was never said. It's just that I was listening to a recording. I was just <laughs> confirming it, my lord, uh, if he did uh, uh, mention that in, in his evidence in chief or not. Okay. If you can help me hear that, I do not remember, not even on a single day saying that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my daughter. I have no further questions. Yes, sir. The court business, my lord. Mr. Madlala, have, yes, have you testified in court before? Okay, what? Look for back of my building and tell you. My land again, let's just come back. No, no. I mean, before this incident, have you ever testified in any oh. court, whether it's a lower court, small claims court, high court? I doesn't testify. I've never. I've never testified in court before. Okay. It's your first time now? We are caught. Yes. It's my first time. And then when you are testifying, Mr. Madlala, I am putting questions to you and you are expected to give answers. Do you understand that? Yabona Umautun Faras Bako, Yemeni Buzo Mi Buzo, Ganti Ulin de Lego Uguchi Wenage, Upendulo, Upendule Leon Buzo. So that you yes, don't right. find yourself asking me questions, because I'm not the one who is giving answers. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you are advocating in court for the first time. Yes, sir. 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 Y
Oh my God, I want to If you want, you if you want me to repeat the question, you must just tell me to repeat the question. Oh my God, we are tanda. 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 I hear you, advocate. Okay. And the reason, Mr. Madlala, why you are before this court, it's because we want to find out from you what transpired on the date of the incident. Manje, is Yes, I can hear that. We know what has been said by other witnesses in their statements. But we know what those who have testified have said before this court. So if I happen to refer you to the evidence of the witness, it's because I want you to comment on your own as a person who was there inside the house when the incident took place. Okay. 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 I get a bit uh, confused when uh, the advocate is saying that um, she will be referring me to the statements of other people. It's going to be difficult. It will be, it will be difficult for me to answer what was uh, written by someone else. But I am exuberant to this pendule because in the condemnation. Where um, mine is concerned, it, it will be easy for me to can respond to it because it has to do with me. Okay. Let, let's go step by step, Mr. Mazala. You'll see what I'm saying. Okay. I guess it's a certain thing. It's not telling us, it's not okay. telling us. Okay. Okay. And no I want, problem. And I want to believe that you have passed the metric, your metric, Mr. Madlala, so that I know which level do I engage you in terms of the questions, yes. the line of questioning. Yes. I want to believe that you have passed the metric, your metric, Mr. Madlala, so that I know which level do I engage you in terms of the questions, the line of questioning. I suppose the witness doesn't have to answer that question. Which metric are you referring to? The one where you pass with 30%? <laughs> <laughs> or the one which I did about 50 years ago? No, I think from the age of, uh, the, compl of the witness, it, it's the current one. I see, okay. Yes, let's mm -hmm. yes, yeah, 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 my qualifications. I don't think you witness. I think witness is not a Or I call no. I finally go to go to the As long as I call you witness, but I look full the eye and I understand this as advocate. Where qualifications are concerned, as long as you are a witness, as long as you were there when the incident transpired. But as far as um, education or your academic qualifications are concerned. I don't understand you there, uh, advocate. No problem, Mr. Mandala. If you have not passed metric, there is no problem. Let's proceed. We we'll see. Our personal metric has to be. I cannot get. And our pass. I was in the session. I leave the class and I did. I did. I did, and I did not fail even one grade. I did pass my metric. Not even one class did I have to repeat. Thank you very much. You know, if you're going to give positive answers like that, we're just going to be very short. You testified, Mr. Madala, that you were a friend to the deceased. Am I correct? That is the truth. And for a long period of time. Yes, it is indeed so. 
Am I correct to, to, to think that you, you were in good terms with the deceased at the time of his death? Yes, we, we were never in, in bad terms or in bad blood before. Can you describe, oh, okay, sorry, can I just rephrase my word? Would you talk, would you discuss with the deceased as a friend of the deceased about love rela relationships one will have, yours and the deceased one? And about the girlfriends you had, yeah, you know, those sorts of friendship. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, we'll discuss such. Uh, okay. Have you also discussed the, the nature of the relationship, or did you know the nature of the relationship between the deceased and Miss Kelly Kumar? Yes, I knew that um, they were in, in, in a love relationship or by a Jola. Mm -hmm. Do you know if they had any problems or if they had inquired any, encountered any problems? Um, well, I, I, I cannot answer that one. There are certain things that transpired um, previously that has got nothing to do with me that I cannot answer. And you, you further testified that you, you visited, you came to visit Senzo, the deceased, on wow. the 26th of October when the incident took place. Wow, go show again. Ugo te ubu zo vagasele mufi. Mag zo gwen zaga lesis kame on the 26th of October 2014. It is so, yes. Did you know where the deceased was staying at that time when you came to visit him? I don't know. Did you know where the deceased was staying at that time when you came to visit him? Yes, I knew. I knew where he was residing. If I'm not mistaken, I had already visited him about three times. Okay, where had you visited him? Okay. In, 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 in their affair with Kelly, where they were residing in Malbatin. Now, now, I had visited Senzo on um, various residential places. Um, I'm now referring to where he was uh, residing with Kelly, okay. uh, that is in Malbatin. How many times had you visited the deceased in Jobbik? Uh, if you can recall, if you can't recall, there is no harm, just tell the court you can't recall. Okay, so you came to visit him on the 26th of October 2014. For how many times? Uh, for the last three years. Okay. 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 Uh, I knew it to be a uh, census place. Okay. And it is your evidence that uh, at the hospital, after the incident had taken place, midnight, you did not have a place to sleep. As a result, you went with uh, Kumal, with uh, Miss Kelly Kumalo and Zali to Malbatin. 
Am I correct? Ngabege and get in Sevilla or in Sevilla, Umangeti, or in Silver Mangeti, where Nangalo Sugar, Catin Sespezella, Massen Sugar Espezella, Ubunga Sena Yoga, Indau, Yogio Lana, Nadoko, Wahamba, no, Mr. Kumar, we are from the Emangatin, Gabo Tinisoko? Not exactly, because Nangamba no talk before Lantan. Not exactly. I could have um, traveled together with Mtogo if it was what I actually wished for. Yeah, so why but did you choose to go with Kelly instead he, of going with Mtogo? I think that the Now, um, remember initially oh, my intention was to visit that place. And mm. that And that was also not the first time visiting that place. So that's the reason you wanted to spend that night with Kate. Guaba is on us are to a sense which we are now full of Kate to back up and a piano and I am gas within the zones of Pendulani team because it means you are not easy. I want to wear and join after seven to get into Naman Seco food. Now I don't know how should I answer that one since I had come here and the incident transpired. How would what picture would, would it cast if I were? not to be found after the incident. Okay. And when, when did you make the statements? When the um, last statement in any? Is it the first statement? There the are the many first, statements that are made. The first statement, statement immediately after, after the incident. And what to when the last camera was was sent the statement? Uh, I love to tell you that because the man must be a must be a special. I would, I would be a bit unsure about that because even when we came back from the hospital and there is one police official that was asking me questions and they were, he was writing something or she was writing something so I cannot say as to whether was that now a statement or what. Okay, did he ask you to sign any document? What the you to sign the net document that is signed now? At that time. I do not remember signing any document. All that he was doing was interviewing me about what transpired today. So it means you did not sign any statement that night? Yes. Yes. That is correct. I never signed. And from Exhibit V1, you only signed on the following day, which is 27. Yes. Um, um, gay 27. Yes. Yes, we are Kumbula at the police station. Yes, I remember we were at the police station at Fort Lores. And from the date of incident up to the time when you made the statement on the following day, you were with Ke Miss Kelly Kumalo, Miss Zandi Kumalo. So I'm going to ask you about what you want to add to this camera. We're going to ask you about what you want to add to this statement. So I'm going to ask you about Miss Kelly Kumalo and Miss Zandi Kumalo. Yeah, I'm not sure what you want. Yes, I would say so. Okay. And obviously, you discussed about the shooting incident, which was traumatic to you guys. So, Balaga, what is now called the Mangalas of Cameras of Tujula and Bobaga, and Wau Shatagi, or Nan Shatagi? Not exactly, because in the law issue, I could not exactly, because Gogleric figure band, so in the similar so the Manga Kelanji, Nugla and Savan Shuvala made. Not, not, not exactly as, 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 as for how you are putting it now, because um, there were instances or intervals of the arrival of other people as well. Even myself, the state I was in, I couldn't even um, wink a little. Let, let's, try, let's try, Mr. Madara, to answer what has been asked. If I want to ask about your condition, I will ask that. But for now, my question is, Obviously, from the time of the incident up to the time when you made the statement, you will have, you'll discuss this case. You'll discuss the traumatic incident we have just gone through because we were sitting down discussing directly or indirectly. Figure a less of Catigan, who's opening a statement May 27th, October 2014. 
Ubunabo, Ubunai, Gakungaz, Uban Ukeli, Naya Uzandi Kumago. And Ben Logan Kotage, Mogutu, the Siska Mayo Sabah, Sunganga, and then San Pataranjan, Ugutum Tambe, Wam Chenumutu, no, Ogany, Wes on Tambebona, Bedo Bekulu, Magota, and then they are Kumega. No, it's cut a sning, it's cut a sning, advocate, so good to Pinbang Island, it's cut a sning, kill away Valley Cameroon. Then Massic Fiala went away again. Well, what I can say to you, um, uh, advocate, that um, Kelly most of the times she would um, lock herself in the bedroom and as I've indicated that uh, there are a number of people that would also frequently be arriving there and um, the likes of Chico Twala also arrived. Um, one young man also arrived there, uh, Oteno Banu Sipo, Akunzi also. Then it was Uzo Pumage, Ababo, and then Apinde. Yeah, Umundo, I call and Juma, Uzo Puma, Ukeli. Apinde, I come and Apinde, I'm going to Yes, and then Kelly would come out of the bedroom and enter Tambe Bona's room. Yes, and then Kelly would come out of the bedroom and enter Tambe Bona's room. Yes, and then Kelly would come out of the bedroom and enter Tambe Bona's room. Yes, and then Kelly would come out of the bedroom and enter Tambe Bona's room. Yes, and then Kelly would come out of the bedroom and enter Tambe Bona's room. Yes, and and her mother was also uh, instrumental in preparing food, um, you know, because oh. myself during that time... They were feeding I, you with food? At that time I did not want food. They would ask me as to whether uh, am I not hungry. Yes. Oh, okay. So they were offering you? They were, they were, they were doing some favors to you? They were going to say, I'm a favor. I don't understand you. Offering food? Now, how do you bring favor in And this also now? offering you accommodation? Accommodation in a casella with a gasenzo, gas with a gasenzo. I have already explained to you that uh, as far as the accommodation is concerned, that is census place. And, and I'm still at census place. And it is your evidence also in chief that the person who had deposit ma deposited money for you in order to be able to come to Jobek, it was Miss Kelly Kumar. <laughs> Yes, when I was sent because they did have a Yes, Senzo would not be able to do it because they were going to play on that day. Don't be long, Mr. Madara. If the answer is yes, just say yes. The person who deposited money for you to come to Jobek, it was Miss Kelly Kumar. Yes. I'm not going to work for the money. You're going to be a Miss Kelly Kumar. I'm asking you to pick the land. Because my color is going to be a Senzo. So I'm not going to be a young girl. I'm going to be a young girl. I'm going to be a young girl. I'm going to be a young girl. I don't know how to answer you on that one. Because it was really saying she. All these things started with uh, with Senzo, um, you know, uh, being involved in it. I understand that it was it was Senzo that have arranged that I should come. And as to who actually um, had um, the opportunity to go and deposit, that that is something that I cannot really uh, understand. Was it not your evidence during examination in chief that the person who deposited money for you to come to job was Ms. Kelly Kumar? I did say so. Okay. Are you changing it? We are changing so it. So there is nothing that is contained in here which I will change. So you agree with me that another offer that was given to you by Ms. Kelly Kumado is the money that she deposited to you in order to come yes, to I think, With respect, I think counsel is misunderstanding the, the witness. The witness did say he was in communication with the deceased and the deceased inquired as to whether he received the money and um, the, the money then reflected and, and, and the deceased then phoned him thereafter. And the witnesses said he's been under the impression that it's the deceased who arranged that. Yes, that's how I understood the evidence. Thank you, my lord. But the person who did the actual deposit was Kate. Whose money was it? That's the point. Um, Whose money was it, as far as you are concerned? It was Santos money. Let's make some progress, please. Okay. When you arrived inside the house at a... 
the Kumalos homestead now. You testified that you consumed some alcohol. Am I correct? Yes, I am from Kumalos. I am from the 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 Kumalos. Yes, it is so. And it is also evidence that you only drank Two. I did not finish the third one. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to show you the the pictures of the evidence that was recovered by the police at the crime scene. And that evidence was taken into photo albums. And it's the evidence before this court as the only cans that were recovered inside the house. The police are going to be strong. I'm saying that the father is a police officer. I'm going to be 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 a police officer. Is it also evidence that all of you were inside the house, were consuming alcohol. Uh, or it was only you. No, I didn't think I don't 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 she also was not drinking liquor. Okay. Then tell us who, who were drinking. Oh, but I was It was yourself? The uh, Wena. Zandi. It was myself. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Senzo. Ntobo. Myself, Zandi, Kelly, Senzo, and Togo. Okay. Excluding, except for the mother and the child. The part yes. of the woman and the child. Yes. That is correct. So the cans that we had consumed will be more than the two that are depicted there, am I correct? I mean, I mean all of you, all, all of out of all the people who were drinking inside the house. It is indeed so, yes. So in other words, the, 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 the amount of cans that are depicted in that picture does not reflect the correct amount of cans you had consumed all of you inside the house. Okay. 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 Um, even the, the liquor that was in the fridge, and as well as those that have already been discarded, it, it doesn't show. You are correct. Is there anyone who will clean up, remove the empty cans as you were continuing drinking? I think it was so. I think it was so. We couldn't just keep the empty cans there. And um, even going to the kitchen to um, get the liquor, it wasn't ourselves that would um, go and fetch the liquor from the kitchen. Somebody was bringing the liquor to us. Okay. To be specific, did you see anyone removing cans? No. Okay. Up to the time when you left to the hospital. Yes. 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 And at the time, by the time when you left to the hospital, there is no one who cleaned the floor inside the lounge. Where you had been sitting before the incident. I do not have the surety of that uh, because we rushed Senzo uh, to the hospital. As to what happened after we had left, um, no, I do not have any knowledge of that. No, my question is before you left to the hospital.
Did you see if there is anyone, try, try to report, did you see if there is anyone who cleaned the floor? At the I did not notice that. Okay. You furthermore, when you were cross ex during cross examination by one of the defense counsel, uh, you said how possible that Ngashe would have chased and followed the suspect. What is it that they were carrying? Do you remember that, oh, yeah. the answer that you gave? Uh, yeah. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, just correct me if I'm putting it uh, the other way. Yes, yes. Do you remember that? Yes, yes, yes. yes I remember that. So in other words, uh, you were saying, how would Ngashe's vehicle have been able to trace an armed person when they were not armed? Am I yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I I only asked what were they in possession of? Why did you ask that question? I'm asking that question because it is difficult for you to chase a person who is in possession of the firearm and you are not uh, even in possession of any weapon. If it's difficult for a person to chase someone who is armed, and when that person is not armed, how come Long Wetuan was able to push an armed person and run away? Man, we are going to go to the moon and get Mr. Petis Pamu, Yena, Enga, Petelu, Toguena. Who's the Ganja? I would too long at Twala. I push a lot of Petit is Pam, go to whom would you long with Twala, Yenu being a Petis Caligier. And also, secondly, before you answer, just hang in there if the court allows me. How come also the people who were not armed inside the house were able to attack the alleged, so alleged intruder having a fire? Manje na abu abu banta banga sentli ni abe benga pete luto muzi kanga nuko tuje bora ba ya ge ba sasele umuntu o ogani ba pushe umuntu o wa e pete iskali bora nuko tuje benga pete luto. Yangu ngo da kusta lega lo kwalo manje. Yes I hear you. Let's start. Lo kwalo manje mfala na we na mwe advocate. Na mimi sas buza na namsange. Well. Nuko tuje wa yenza kanga nle yuko. Ya mfala na we na. I'm 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 just like you on that one. Um. As so how he did it, I'm still asking myself that question. How did Longwe do, uh, uh, do that? But it's impossible for a person who is not armed to push someone who is armed, approach and push someone who is armed. A konaga, uguti umuntu nga pete luto gena, a pushe umuntu o pete skali gena. Nye chablela agile opati ngoba lo umda gaga shon usa koni. You see, you see, um, um, I like, I like that part, because um, the person to whom this um, um, refers um, is still alive. He's not dead. He no. can come and answer for himself. Don't worry about that person. He's coming. I'm asking now. It's your turn to answer your question. You have said. You had said. No, I cannot answer for him. I cannot answer for him. Um, if you ask me, how did he? How was he able to push him? And yet you are asking that to me. Um, you should ask that to him, and not to to me. I'm, I'm asking from what we have said in this court. And I'm asking your understanding to what we have said to this court to say it would have been difficult for Ngashe to follow and chase armed suspects. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Do you understand where I'm coming from? So in other words, I am saying it, which would also would have been difficult for Longwe to approach an armed person. Same as Natchez. 
wana lo mkondo bese ngeza lana age uh, gulongwe ngeiti na gulongwe ya kebekzo banzibu kukuti azo pusha umonto petiskali yena gunguti yena agubena peteli and was present right you I mean, are always the right. as a court prisma the witness says it happened you know as to now, why should he now cast his mind back and say it would have been difficult? Uh, I don't think it's it's a fair question. Maybe my learned friend can leave it for argument. Thank you, my lord. If my learned friend is giving the answer on behalf of the witness, I take it, my lord, and I accept it. It's more clear. It's more clear now. The answer is clear. That's what I wanted. Thank you, my lord. If if you knew, if you knew, I'm I'm so uh, well relaxed. Um, I'm able to answer for myself. But in the night, I can advocate. Mr. Madala, who's got cool name? Ten names are bad. Mr. Madala, those who are my questions. Mr. Madala, yes. Madala. Please um, behave yourself. Are we? Are we? Are we? Behave part, uh, yourself. I'm going to now advocate. Mr. Madala, advocate is representing the state. He has raised an ob objection to the court. We are dealing with the objection which you have no, we have nothing to say about it. It's not that I cannot answer for myself. Yes. I can answer. I can answer about my when we took Linda and Nani, who was in Kandoli was to be Saga in Yazara, when I get out. Until I ask you a question, then you will then answer. Oh, forget again, let's just get the Buzza Umbuzo and Ubuzo, any Buzo, will not forget also was with it when Pendul. Yazara? Yes, Mr. Zoe. Next question. Uh, I just want to point out that this evidence that is on record, my lord. Uh, no one is answering on his behalf. That's his evidence that is on record. Okay. No problem, my lord. I will argue at the end uh, of the state of the case, my lord. Can I just proceed, my lord? Yes. Thank you. Let's now get inside the house, Mr. Matani. Please listen carefully. And think before you answer, Mr. Mashal. I know this thing took place. Why do you want to argue with the witness? He must think before he answers. How? He's been answering. How many days have you been? On the box? He's been here for about three, four days. He must have been thinking at some stage, please. Just respect the witness also. Yeah, let, her, let, her, respect, let her respect me. That's the court business. Uh, can you just try to recall at the, time, at the time of the shooting incident now inside the house? You understand? Yes. You, it is your evidence that after the shot, after the first gunshot was fired, you ran away. Yes, it is so. Did you see if there is anyone who also ran out of the spot where the shot was fired? be it in the kitchen passage where the shot was fired. Did you see, do you recall if there is anyone? No, there isn't any person that I had witnessed running and um, they fled to where that I, I did not witness. Okay. You, you did not see Zandi running into the bathroom? There's no one that I had witnessed that they ran to where, yeah. even Senzo himself. Only when I came out of uh, the bedroom, I found him lying on the floor. Okay, but in this case, I'm just being a specific, Mr. Madan. If you did see, 
Zani running into the path. Yeah, when I learn again, as as six kuluma again, again the day keti the spouse and moon to Obu Zani. Oye wambona yi lu Zani e kichi me e balega. I'm as no meaning wrong in la, cause man ita keko e nambona. Man masu ita ntaze futa lu kiti and can understand. I don't know whether am um, I the person that is having a problem here? If I say that there isn't a person that I saw running and ending up to where. I don't know. Um, no, I, I was trying to be specific to say I'm not asking generally about other person now. I was being specific to say Zandi. He local in Gushawa, but my dear, some Kuluma go Zandi. Gamanya maso. Oye wambo no Zandi e kichi na e baleka. Ake kumde ngambo ntoa ya pibanda wa vesili. There isn't any person that I had seen running and ending to whatever point. Okay of the people that were inside of the house. Before the shot was fired, did you see Ms. Kelly Kumalo running away of the lounge area? And the Gubage is Panos Kume. Uye Wambona U Ulokunjan U Ms. Kelly Kumalo. Eba Lega Esuga Nase Launch. Ah. No, I did not. Okay. Now let's Come in now to the alleged first intruder. As is a good lonag, Ulalen, says is a good low tala, Owange, and you get a lady. Yes. Is it your evidence that he was wearing a hat? Oti, of Fagas Baku, Oti, Obeto, is to. Am I correct? That is correct. Okay. Can you describe that hat for me, just for me? The hat that you saw. Oh, I was a good one. 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 Oh, I was a it wasn't, it wasn't one of those um, softer mm. pinch or crown. Mm. It was a harder pinch and crown. Mm. Not just that, um, the, the, the lighter and softer ones on touch. Mm. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you, you can't give any significant description of that head other than giving the explanation, the description that it was a, a small scotch with a brim, as you are saying. Um, the witness spoke about the pinch and the crown and not the brim. Other than that, you, you can't give any significant features of that hat. With scotch, with the sestimile, um, uh, local chili. Oh. I, I, I think um, that picture is within the records here or it is within the files in this honorable court and perhaps we can refer to that if uh, the advocate would want uh, to see it. No, don't worry about uh, the picture. I just wanted to see if you are able to give a full description of that picture. Yes, yes. Did you have, or were you wearing any hat at that particular time, you yourself, at the time of the shooting? No. 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 Correct me, Emma, if I'm, I'm wrong. You, you said at the time of the shooting incident, at the time when the first shot was fired, the second intruder was leaning against the door facing the house. Am I correct? Ma Maguzo Kumage is 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 Pamukan. Oti Lona Umgene Lil West B. Ube Nigenji Ngom Nyang or Epeging as a kitchen or a paratinzi, children. Mongan of Nyang Biga right. Um Nyang Epe face a paratinzi. Yes, when you get into the house, it was just 
on the right hand side of the door and yet he was facing the house. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to confirm. He Is that correct? Please, in okay. Segisa. Yes, that's correct. Did you see who fired that first shot? I did not see them. Okay. And immediately you became deaf and you ran away. Man, jenga da soskati kuavu madega matlebe wasu ya balega. Yes, it is indeed so. Okay. How many people did you leave inside that area? Was it Miss Kelly Kumalo, Makumalo Zandi? Am I correct? Abaonga kabando wa Rashi ya wena mubale. U Kelly Kumalo, U Zandi Kumalo, U Makumalo, U Senzo, and Senzo, and Naban Boitu, and those two intruders. Okay. Do you recall if Mchabo, Mchabo was still there? Or he had ran out also. Oh yeah, kumbulu kuti after the first shot was fired. Oh yeah, kumbulu kuti ngale soska tige umtogo yenube ko na ko na lapo bebo bantu. M bago bo tikumis pa mbo chad. Ya kumbulu. Eng wazi kuti umtogo wasu mali tangsa kumbulu watu buti wa ebu bago ta wenye umtogo wasu mukti na itani kozi. Mangu sugu mana mwa sasa ko umtogo la itani. Now what I can recall is that he was the last person to have stood up because at the time that I stood up. Mtogo was still in the dining or the lounge area. Okay, that no, is what I can recall. I'm asking now, after the first shot was fired, did you see? It is from Wokdal. Oge wambon mtogo, mtambe e balega. Balega simenzi nuga nyeya e petroom. Oge wambon e balega mtogo. No, I did not see him. But I did not see him. But I said, I paga ati kumisla mwani nga pu minzi. At the time of um, the gun um, going off, it was he was still inside of the house that, that, that okay. I am sure. After you had ran into the bedroom now, did you hear any shots being fired? Oh, okay. Did you see any shots being fired? Yes, I did. Did you hear any shots being fired? Yes, I did. Did you hear any shots being fired? Yes, I did. Did you hear any shots being fired? Yes, I did. Did you hear any yeah. As I've already indicated that um, after the gun went off for the first time, um, my ears were deafened and uh, also I was frightened during that time and um, there is the ringing sound that I heard in my ears and all that I needed to um, you know, uh, relieve myself from is that area. I wanted to exit the house. It is for that reason that I went into the bedroom, ran into the bedroom, and I wanted to exit the house through the window. That is when I realized that there were uh, the butler guards on the window. Okay, so will, will I be understanding you correct to say you did not hear any subsequent shot gun being fired? Yes, Yes. Okay. You can say and so. And also... When, when the shot was fired inside the lounge passage, wherever there was show, that whatever that, uh, whatever the place it is, you did not see who shot the deceased. Mm. Yes, I didn't see who uh, shot at the deceased. I would have pointed that person out. Now, the person, however, that came in with the firearm is the one that was having dreadlocks. And the deceased was shot when there was Miss Kelly Kumalo, there was Zandi, there was Makumalo. Oh, Mofi, what did you like? Cut the corner, oh, Kelly Kumalo, oh, Zandi. No, ma'am, Kuma. No, you can, you, can, you can continue to list uh, uh, people. Why do you just only list a few people? And this, and this brother of mine, he Sorry. was also there at the time the firearm went off. I'm asking, I'm asking you a question. I am saying when the disease was shot, there was Miss Makumalo. There was Miss Sandy Kumalo, there was Miss Kelly Kumalo. That's the question that I'm asking to you. Nothing else. Umam Kumalo, Miss Kelly Kumalo, Miss Sandy Kumalo, Gengati, Umufetu Juba. Ufunum Pedulisa in Tengue, Prangin Pedulum Buzonja, because 
So masubalo ngathi kukhona uyamdidisa. Now you are confused you are confusing me. You want me to answer the way that you want me to answer. Yes, mm -hmm. And I was I, I'm the I one that is I, I am I am the one. I am the one that is giving you um, the answers. Mm -hmm. Now you're speaking as though you were there also to witness this. Let's move no, on, Mr. Advocate, no. Let's Who's move on, Mr. Advocate. Ask me yeah. who all was there. Uh, let me answer you. Because I'm the one that was in the house. I've passed that question. Can I ask <laughs> another question? <laughs> okay. You are free. Mr. Ngasha's evidence is that he saw a person against the window who was wearing a white t-shirt when, when the scaffold took place. And, yes, I understand. And it is your evidence that uh, the person who was wearing a white T-shirt inside the house was the deceased only. Yes. 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 That at the time when you looked, at the time when you looked at the person whom you have identified as the first suspect and the second suspect, you had consumed alcohol and you, you were frightened at that time after seeing the firearm being produced by the first so alleged intruder. Yes, I can hear that. And it is also evidence, Mr. Matlala, that the incident happened so fast. Yes. Yes. Okay. Would you agree with me that you did not have Sorry, my Lord, can I just rephrase? Can I just rephrase that question? You said it's your evidence that the intruder, first intruder, demanded the cell phone and money in Zulu language. Hundred percent right. Did he say? Did he say anything else other than demanding cell phone and money? Now, when you obtain the Akuluma, the plan to obtain a phone, a mobile phone, the money. I am having a mobile phone. I will go when you call me. No, there isn't any other thing that I would. I would be wrongly implicating him. He he never said footsec. As long as he footsec. I didn't hear him say that. But the one phone in my phone number was. But as far as uh, phones and money, there's something that I heard to that effect. Okay. At what stage, if you know, did uh, did Long Wetwala come back at any stage? Back to the house? Oh my God, Uyazi. Long Wetwala, who are pinned in the foot and in the name? Hey, I'm not going to go to Long Wetwala. I'm not going to go to Long Wetwala, but I'm not going to go to Long Wetwala. No, I did not see Long Wetwala. I am not saying that he did not return. Even at the hospital, I didn't see him. Okay. Outside, when you were carrying the deceased to the house, did you see his car outside um, the premises? Oh, I am not going to to the house. So, the time that we are now um, driving or taking Senzo to the hospital, I didn't see his vehicle. His vehicle will be parked behind Senzo, uh, Senzo's vehicle, um, and that was a red uh, polo. But at the time that we were now uh, driving on, um, transporting Senzo, I did not see that vehicle. And obviously you wouldn't know where he had ran into. 
It is indeed so. Did you see Mr. Chikotwala at the hospital? Oh, Papu Chikotwala, one born is Pedela. I did not see him at the hospital. Let's go back and look. Oh, sorry, my lord, can I just uh, rephrase? Do you know what happened to the deceased cell phone? During the robbery incident. Oh, yeah, was with Wednesday. I love your cell phone. I'm going to go to the Panga. 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 Then I would, I would um, you know, I would, I would be lying to you. Um, all I know is that um, it was found somewhere under the uh, cabinet, the kitchen cabinets. Okay. But also, do you know who kept the deceased cell phone? from the incident and on the following day, subsequent to the incident. And I go to the house with my mother, who has a cell phone that has been used to be able to use the camera to be able to use the camera. I don't think I'm going to be able to use the camera. I don't think I'm going to be able to use the camera. Obviously, it would be Miss Kelly Kumalo, um, because she is the mother of his child. Mm -hmm. I do not think that it could have been in possession uh, of any other person. Yes. No, okay. So it would have been with uh, Miss Kumalo? Ibe... Kelly Kumalo? Yes. Yes. Okay. Just to go back a little bit, I left one question. Sorry, my lord. Inside the shooting incident, is it your evidence that you also attacked the suspect, or you did not attack the suspect. We found the back of a lobo. When the police came, we took leg. Now we are shooting the one, one person who ran, one Louis, and all. Let me clarify the first. The first. The police are the work car. Yes, na subu magona. Even now I'm shy. Na subu magona, but na na yabo parenza ni shy. Yes, I I also stood up, even though I did not assault him. But I, I stood up while we, yes, I stood up and him. I stood up and accosted him, even though I did not assault him. Was there a stage where in you and uh, Miss Zandi Kumalo assaulted or attacked the, the second intruder? Zandi Kumalo, Zandi and Mr. Matalo. Oh, when no, no, no Zandi. Now you shall all of you. Low speed. The second person it, um, that I remember it was myself. It, it was Senzo. It was myself and Senzo that were against the second. Intruder. Do you remember if the second intruder was in possession of any weapon? We are Kumbuluguti and Lono Westby in Ube Petis Kadri and Anamaka. And Mbonanga, we try Petin. I did not notice what he was in possession of. I saw Senzo grabbing his upper arm, his right upper arm, with both of his hands. Okay, but in that upper arm that you saw, you did not see any weapon. Zangubone is is card. Yes, I did not. Okay, and also on the other hand, you did not see any weapon. Yes, Nablus is is in his hand. Yes. So in other words, that person was not armed. Gamani mazlo mutu ko ubinga petis card gear. I said that personally I did not see him in possession of the firearm. Okay. Oh, sorry, of the weapon, sorry. No, it's fine. No problem, Mr. Madara. Let's, let's move on. And you also again testified that you were able to identify the second person. Yes, who was leaning against the wall. Was the Lubum Kong under the West Yes, it is indeed so. Can you tell the court about any distinctive features that you saw of this person? I would tell you, Kantolo, in Pound, as I say, Katilin Adam Lisa on Bonilla. I know his head was covered because he had a hoodie. Yeah, it was you would see a candle like a Lalimbozi and go Pedaga, Obefaga, a hood. I think I did explain that yesterday, and I am still going to explain that today. Okay. That he was tall, darker in complexion, and that he had a round beard that was trimmed around the mouth to the chin as well, and that there was a little beard just underneath the lower lip. So the, the description we have given right now, it means those are the description that you can only find from that person 
No one else can have those those uh, features. Features. Uh, features uh, yes. Uh, um, no, in, in other words, I'm sorry, Mother, can you just uh, unpack? Yes. Can I, thank you, Mother. In other words, the, the description that we have given, there is no other person who could have, could have, who could have had such description other than the, the second intruder. There's no possibility. I am so happy that I was able to see him again. Because when I saw him in court, I was able to see that this is the very person. I understand that, Mr. Majlala. You know what, Mr. Majlala, the reason why I'm asking the distinctive features of this person is because the person can be mistaken with identity for now and in 20 years and in 100 years. You understand? Uh, no, 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 Right now, I see him, and even he himself knows that. Yes, I, I, I cannot, I cannot um, wrongly implicate uh, uh, another person. Okay, so can you now answer my question to say, is there no a possibility that someone else could have the same features, could cut or trim the beard as we have explained? Oh, Yes, it may be possible. It may be possible. After the shooting incident, Mr. Madlala, did you have a cell phone with you? Yes. 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 Did you call the police? Oh yeah, we have phone number police. Angazi, we have phone number. I'm pretty sure Angazi has phone number police. I've never phone called the police, okay. and in my entire life, I've never phone called the police. Okay, just to report the incident that your friend has been shot. Ogu ushonje wote, umga na nusu tu juli wote. Ogu afya kala, detu anga phone number, uputuaki. What came first? I'm pretty sure phone number, no mimi tangu sana na suskati na phone number na basi kala. So logo mimi na mguu ushoto something. Now, um, what came first was uh, for me to phone call his brother. Yes. I subsequently uh, phone called the person that I was in a love relationship with and my family uh, members uh, at home. I'm still coming there, Mr. Marlon. But this here, for now, I'm saying, did you call the police to report the incident that my friend has been shot here? Oh, yeah, well, yes or no? Please. If you did not, just say no, you did not. Oh, yeah, well, and police, there is no harm. Oh, man, Gabe, as I'm going to local. Yes, I, I, I understand, Advocate. There isn't any error that one would have committed there. Because when a person is under such a circumstance, you are under shock as well. And um, you cannot, uh, in a relaxed manner, say that now I'm going to phone call this one. And yes, I, I agree with you on that one. Mm, I okay. did not phone call them. And the ambulance? The ambulance, you're not YB, sir? Why phone number? I'm just done the number. I don't know. I'm just done the number. And I don't even know the ambulance number. 
Femi, I understand that the deceased was a friend to you. Yes. Yes. Did you know his family? Yes, I know his family. Did you have the number of any of uh, the deceased relatives? Advocate, I wanted to say something. You're confusing me now, advocate. I've just said that I phone called his uh, right. brother, Sviso. Okay, so no, if you're I, taking me back now. I did, not, I did not hear that. That's why I'm asking. Did you have okay. that number? Ubuna, you know number, yeah, okay. Yes, I had his number. The parents, did you have the number for the parents for, the, Zali, for your friend? I did not have the numbers for uh, the deceased parents. And what is the number of the... What is the number of the deceased family relative that you, what is the name, sorry, what is the name of the deceased relative that you call? No, it was uh, C. Sfiso Stanley Mehiwa. Sfiso Stanley Mehiwa. Okay. At what time did you call him? One for Nerubani. Or maybe at what stage, even if it cannot be specific to say at 11 or at 2, but at what stage? Nanoma in that? Did you call him the same month? 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 Did you call him the same month?